What's up guys, it's your boy Central Texas. I'm going to do a video um, on this RC four wheel drive uh, hard body. It's a Marlin Crawler TF2 body that I got used and it's, it's kind of rough. It's got super glue in spots. The, the jack was glued to the front. So I'm just gonna clean it up, sand it down, spray it and see what I can't do with it. So uh, sit back, enjoy the video, and I'll walk you through the steps that I take if you want to do something similar. All right, so I'm hitting it with a Vallejo white as my base coat. We are wrapping up the white. Here's a still shot. And now we're going to go on to Tamiya Lemon Yellow. Now I'm not real sure how I feel about this yellow. It's kind of bright. I'm hoping that it works out with the colors that I've decided to go with. It should, but we'll see. As you're going through, make sure that you're um, not getting any tiger stripes. Lay it on nice and evenly. Alright, and there's you a still shot of the yellow. Now I'm going to hit it in some random spots with Vallejo Red. Um, these are going to be the spots that I know I'm going to sand and hit a little bit uh, more aggressively than anywhere else. So I just want multiple colors throughout. And there's your still shot of that. Now I'm going to coat the entire thing again using Vallejo Orange this time. And this is going to be my second to last color. My last color, I'm going to just black the entire truck out and then start sanding. Alright, now that the orange is done and I can't really see the red spots, there's you a still photo. Now I'm going to black out everything inside the cab, everything, because this is my final coat. And the inside being black is just going to look a lot cleaner when I put the interior and stuff in. Very crucial, very important to 
nice, even, slowly coat it. You don't want any tiger stripes or you'll see it really, really bad, especially when you put the clear on. Now as you're taking your time doing this, you really want to focus and make sure that you get in the door jams or the, the creases where the doors are, where the screw go, where the screws go, stuff like that. You don't you'll be able to see that stuff if you're not careful. So make sure that you're not just evenly coating, but you're completely covering everything. You don't want any orange to show through just yet. the back done and here's a still shot of it blacked out now we're gonna start the sanding part wet sanding very gently I'm using some 320 some 800 and I want to say that I used some 400 in between but I just wanted a little bit rougher uh, scrapes in some places and then I wanted to feather it out a little bit just so it wasn't as rough looking. But I just took it down as far as I felt I needed to. You know, let the colors show through that were painted on. It's just something different. It's nothing fancy. It's no ghost flames or anything like that. It's just, I wanted something different. I thought it was kind of cool um, of an idea. So I went with it. All right, outside with the Tamiya TS-13 Clear. I'm gonna use a spray can with this part of it because I just want nice, even coverage of the clear coat. The first coat is gonna be very, very thin. All I'm doing is pretty much dusting it. I want a nice tacky surface for the paint to stick to when I get ready to really lay it down. Make sure you continue to shake the can up as you're spraying. You want to make sure that the can stays kind of warm. I usually warm up my cans of paint in warm tap water just to help loosen the paint up so that way it flows better. Now you really want to make sure that in between your, your coats that you let it sit for a while, you really want it to dry well. You don't want, you put it on too soon, it's going to run and it's just going to be a huge headache. So just take your time with it. guys now we're on to the last coat of clear I'm only gonna do three coats for right now because I want to let it sit and dry and see if I need to do any 
real gentle wet sanding to the clear and hit it again so that way I've got a nice finish. I'm hoping that I get it done right the first time and I don't have to do that. So we'll see. Tell me what you think about this paint job down in the comments. Alright, now that we got it good and cleared, now it's time to let it dry and then we'll throw the windows, interior and stuff in it and kind of get an idea of the finished product. Alright guys, and here's with everything in it. Everybody that made it through the full 12 minutes, I appreciate you watching. Hit that like button if you will. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I appreciate y'all watching. Take it easy.